Hello, people of YouTube. My name is Steve Gray. Thank you for watching. Today we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Season 2, Episode 15. Delightful episode. I'll be honest with you, I, I, di I don't think I really had a problem with this entire thing. Uh, so we start off where we ended uh, with Toji jumping through Megume's portal. Just, just coming in and kind of explaining... You know, what? what's the deal here? Basically, we're just explaining. Let's go ahead and fast forward to where he actually jumps through. Um, and he's thinking, though, they just brought in a new sorcerer. Uh, he literally rips this uh, cursed weapon out of her hand. You know, fairly easily. I mean, I know maybe not fairly easily, but it just shows how much stronger Toji is here uh, than she is. Than uh, the Zenin is. So, uh, like, we don't sense any cursed energy. Uh, Drogon there, or Dragon, um, is like, oh, you know, I don't need to waste time on this dude. Um, he's, he's just, doesn't have any cursed energy. Big whoop de doo da So, uh, they're saying that her, uh, seance technique continues after his death. Um, his body n never expended cursed energy either. Uh, her son essentially, so, uh, when Toji, uh, was currently fighting as directed, <laughs> basically he was told to fight, you know, kill, uh, kill curses, essentially, uh, he had become a murder machine, uh, and essentially he is just living on pure instinct, I don't know if he has even really a consciousness at this point, but, uh, he is just beating the crap out of the strongest person in front of him. And we have seen him kill Gojo. You know, go, or not get, yeah, yeah, Gojo. Nope, yep, yep, get the name right here. Uh, and, you know, Gojo wasn't 100%, that is for sure. But uh, he is just beating the crap out of this, <laughs> out of the cursed spirit. Uh, it is it is ridiculous. Basically, Nanemi is saying, we're betting on him right now. Like, keep up with the domains that way because realistically if the one hit effect came back where it was like a one hit ko um and magume wasn't there you know using his domain to cancel that out he probably would wouldn't stand a chance because he essentially he would get hit once and then he'd be done you know per the domain's effect but uh, that is not the case he actually takes the nunchucks or nunchuck type weapon i know there's a technical different name for it uh it's curse tool makes it into a shiv, stabs it in his head, and then he's done. He's done. Literally, one, two episode fight, done. This this extremely powerful cursed spirit is, is gone. Just done. Uh, he then pushes Magume out the window. Like, Magume is like, what the hell just happened? Like, what just happened? He has no idea. Starts walking towards him. Uh, and then Jogo appears. Uh, and he was like, you, pa oh, da you pass Dagon. It's Dagon. I'm, I keep saying Dragon. It's Dagon. But, uh, yeah. He is leagues above Dagon. Like, leagues above Dagon. And he just kills Nanemi. He kills... Uh, I believe it is it May. No, it's not May. May I'm forgetting her name, but the two people that are in the Zenin clan kills all three of them in like half of a second. Like doesn't even think about it. All of them are dead. Like they, there's no coming back. Their bodies just got burnt to a crisp. Done. So these two girls that we saw hanging around Ghetto back when Ghetto was actually Ghetto and not possessed by an evil brain thing. Uh, they are feeding fingers to Itadori, trying to wake up Sakuna, because they're hoping they can plead with Sakuna to kill what Ghetto has become. Um, Jogo then shows up, burns them, um, and he is like, okay, we are also, I'm gonna also feed Itadori all of these fingers to wake up Sakuna, and, you know, between the two of them, he's had about 15 fingers, you know, all together, and the idea is that you know, you feed them one to to eat to Doria one by one, day by day. He should he should still be able to suppress Sakuna. However, you feed it to him all at once, 
and theoretically Sukuna should have full control uh, for a while. And this is actually the first time we have seen Sukuna, I want to say, pretty much this entire season, give or take. Yeah, you know, we're like 15 episodes deep, roughly, and I'm pretty confident this is the first time, uh, you know, we, we, have epi we have actually seen Sukuna, which is kind of crazy. But um, he does wake up, you know, and there is a heavy presence. Um, rips Jogo's arm off in like half of a second. You know, basically says bow, and they listen. They they do listen. They end up going on the ground. Jogo gets the top of his head cut off, uh, and he he was like, oh, full respect shows fully bowing. You know, and 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 he's not even putting in any effort. Like it is, the the, the power of Sakuna is so ridiculously OP compared to all the other characters in this show. And it's showing this. All three of them are terrified. These two girls are terrified. The cursed spirits are kept terrified. And, you know, they're basically like, hey, you know, we gave you these fingers. Uh, we know at least where another one is. They both love Ghetto. So I don't know if this is kind of like some sort of like triangle relationship type spiel. I don't really know. Uh, I honestly don't really know. But basically they're saying, I love you, I love you. <clears throat> and then they're like, you know, we'll, we'll never forgive Gojo for killing him, but at the same time, you know, he's the only one that could kill him, because, you know, they were best friends, uh, and then whatever he is now, they do not want him, uh, so, he kills one of them, pretty quickly, he's like, do you think a, merely, a measly one or two fingers is gonna allow you to command me, so, you know, basically, he thinks they're trying to command him to do something, kills both of them. Chops him up into little tiny pieces, and he was like, oh, you know, I bet you take a picture and something happens. He was like, yeah, what a pitiful technique, crushes the phone. Um, and basically, then he goes over to Jogo, and he's like, well, what do you want? And he was like, I don't really want anything. We essentially just want your resurrection, because we want to live in the world that you want to create. We also want to kill a bunch of humans. And then he was like, how about I kill every human, you know, <clears throat> in the in this entire district except one? Uh, how, how does that sound? Uh, he was like, but you have to land a hit on me. So this is going to be interesting to see how how that works. Um, apparently, uh, Jogo is thinking that he does not have the ability to... Um, he doesn't have the ability to uh, reconfigure what Mojito has configured. He's ba he's basically saying he doesn't have the ability to undo that technique. Uh, so Mojito may be an ace in the hole in the future as well. But um, he he's basically saying for forge a pack with Itadori, even though he already did, because we do know that he has the ability to control Itadori's body for, I believe, one minute at a time, but he can't kill anybody while he's doing it. Right now, you know, he's, he's not in the Itadori pack, so it doesn't make a difference. Um, he can kill whoever he wants until Itadori regains control. But essentially, he's like, you get one hit on me, and I'll kill a bunch of people. He's like, you're desperate too. Uh, so, <clears throat> yeah. He's just like, I'll slaughter everybody. That's that's what you want. And then we're going to end with, um, you know, next episode, we're probably going to start with him and, and Sukuna fighting. Which is going to be interesting, is I feel like uh, Itadori is probably going <laughs> to gain control, like, halfway through the fight. Um... Because I don't, I don't think he actually wants to kill Jogo. I think he realizes that Jogo uh, may be useful to him being as powerful as Jogo is. I mean, we look at what Jogo did to, you know, grade one sorcerers in like half of a second. Uh, so, you know, he he's not weak. Jogo is by no means weak. I mean, he the only time we just view him as weaker because the only person we saw him fight was the strongest person in the universe, <laughs> essentially. We, we basically saw him fight God. So he wasn't winning that one. But, um, really cool episode overall. I know some people were complaining the last episode, oh, the cinematography was bad, the animation was bad, this was bad, that was bad. You have to understand, they are, even I think the creator of the show was, like, apologizing for it, because the, the, the animator, rather, because they only gave him, like, five days to do the entire episode. So, yes, there was going to be stills. Yes, it wasn't going to be picture-perfect. And it's fine, you know, the image quality isn't, you know, the end-all be-all. It's more about the story, it's about what's happening. Um, there were plenty of stills in this too, but, uh, you know, some people are like, oh, we'll just stop the entire thing uh, and give them the extra time. And yes, I, I completely agree with that. It, it, you know, 
don't rush the artists. Give them time to make it as perfect as they want to and then release it. You know, if they need extra time, that's perfectly fine. Pause the production, pick it back up. But the thing is, a lot of people just want money, which, you know, that's a big part of it too, is the more people that view it, the more money they get, the quicker they get it out. The more people view, want to view it, the more fatter their pocketbooks are, you could say. So there's going to be some images you know you do some freeze frames there's probably a handful of them that look really really bad but as a whole i liked the episode i got no problem giving this a, a 9 out of 10 you know I, I would say the reason i'm not giving it a 10 out of 10 is because yes it is a hair rushed yes there are some more still frames than i would like and especially the sequence with sakuna really nothing is going on nobody's really moving too much where you go back to the fight, you know, I think they put more love into the fight uh, with Toji versus Dagon. Um, which, you know, makes sense because that's where the majority of the action in the episode is. So that's that's perfectly fine. But it's, it's not always going to be picture perfect. And it's probably not going to get a 10 out of 10 out of me. Um, because yes, it is a little bit rushed. But regardless of that, I'm still really enjoying it. I'm still liking the story. I appreciate you everyone uh dealing with my terrible mispronunciations of the names because it's hard it is it is definitely hard to get to get some of these names no matter how hard i try and then trying to memorize everything too is a little rough because i i do do these unscripted i don't have a script in front of me i just kind of say what's on my mind as i'm looking at it but uh next episode yeah uh sukuna versus jogo uh mihito has got to make an appearance at some point um and then maybe Ghetto's going to be in there somewhere as well, probably. But uh, I really liked it. I enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hit that like button, that share button, uh, and comment what you want to see for more. Uh, stay tuned. Tomorrow you'll get Dr. Stone. Saturday you're going to get uh, Spy Family. And then Monday is your Rick and Morty yet again. That is the schedule we're keeping up with for right now. Thank you for watching, and as always, have a good one.